Happy Saturday, May 16th. Congratulations to those of you who are done homeschooling. Uh, that's a big victory, so uh, glad that is done. A um, few announcements. We are going to do a Memorial Day workout. Um, we're going to do a Hero Wad that day, so be on the lookout for an announcement for that. We'll send out email. We'll post it on Facebook um, as well as Sugar Wad. And we are finalizing the t-shirts. The purple shirt won for those of you who voted. Um, so we're just waiting to hear back from the printer on a print timeline and things um, like that. So we should have all that rolling out soon. Uh, so today's workout, we have a 15 minute AMRAP. So what that means at is in 15 minutes, we're gonna do as many rounds and reps as possible um, of this workout, all right? So we're gonna keep moving throughout all of those 15 minutes. We don't have any built-in breaks during today's workout. Um, so what we're gonna start with for the workout is if you uh, are doing the odd object or the no equipment version, then you are going to do 20 odd object to overheads, okay? If you're doing the equipment version, then you are gonna do 20 alternating power snatches, all right? Once you finish those, then you're gonna give me 40 over and back the odd object or 40 double unders, all right? So jump roping. And then you're gonna go back to that odd object and you're gonna give me 20 reverse um, lunges. Or if you have equipment, then you're gonna do single arm uh, alternating reverse lunges, okay? And we're gonna go over all of these movements in a second. Um, after that, you're gonna go back into those over and back cops um, and those double unders, all right? So that is one round. Once you get through that, you'll start back at the top with those 20 uh, odd object to overhead or alternating dumbbell power snatches, and you'll go back through that, all right? And we'll keep moving through it for that 15 minutes. Um, so let's talk about uh, the warm up for today. The warm up is going to be 30 seconds. We're going to do um, three sets, excuse me, of all these movements. Uh, we're going to start with 30 seconds of single arm unders with that jump rope or lateral line hops. So, lateral just meaning we are finding a line and we're going to hop over it for 30 seconds. Okay, after that, you're gonna go right into 30 seconds of act, active Samson stretch. So what that's gonna look like is, we are going to have those arms stretched out overhead, and we are gonna step back into that lunge, and we're gonna reach high into the sky. All right, and then you can step back up, and we'll go back in that same thing on that other side, stretching up, getting a good stretch, all right? After that, you're gonna give me a push up to downward dog. And we're gonna do these for 30 seconds, all right? So we're gonna start in that plank position. And we are going to push up and then go into that downward dog. You can pedal out your calves if you want to. And then we'll go back into that push up and downward dog. All right, again, 30 seconds of that. And then you're gonna do 30 seconds of slow air squats to an odd object, um, to a medicine ball if you have one. All right, if you don't have anything that you can actually squat to, that's okay. We'll still do 30 seconds of slow air squats. I just want you to get below parallel if you don't have an odd object for that, okay? Um, so what I mean by that is I've got a medicine ball, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go slow down. Uh, I'm gonna do a two second countdown. So one, two, squat down, and then stand that back up. Make in three seconds. Um, one, two, three, and stand that back up. All right, so those are gonna be the four movements that you work through. That's gonna be one set, and you're gonna do three sets of those to get you nice and warmed up. All right, so the movements for the workout. Let's talk about the odd object to overhead. So we've done a bunch of this, of these movements, but um, I'm gonna use this medicine ball as my odd object today. Each rep is going to touch the ground um, every time. So it's gonna come from the ground and I'm gonna do one motion up um, to get overhead, all right? So I'm not gonna stop in this position. I'm gonna make it one fluid motion, okay? And what that's gonna look like is 
just like that. And then I'm gonna bring it back down, staying close to my body. I'm gonna touch the ground before I come back in to my second rep of those. All right, so from the side, keeping that close to my body, come back down, touch the ground, and then stand that back up. Now, if you have equipment and you're gonna be using that dumbbell, we are going to be doing single arm alternating power snatches. So today, we wanna make sure that both heads of that dumbbell touch the ground each rep. Um, so what that's gonna look like is, I'm gonna start with that dumbbell completely on the ground. We are going to snatch that, power snatch that from the ground. So we wanna remember that we get that good hip extension and pull before we pop that over our head, all right? So I'm gonna start here. And notice, um, my arm is locked out, keeping that close to my head. You can switch this to alternate in front of your face, just like that, before you go into your next rep. Or you can bring it down to the ground and then switch. But remember, we want the both heads of that dumbbell to touch each time, all right? After that, you've got odd object over and back. So there's a lot of them today. Um, so what that's gonna look like is with this odd object that I had selected at the beginning, this one's a little higher because it's a medicine ball. So over and back is one. So one, all right, until we get to 40. Um, for, if you've got equipment, then we're gonna do double unders, okay? There are some scaling options if you look at the workout prep notes, so it'll, that'll give you some scaling options if um, you're having a little bit of trouble stringing those doubles together, okay? After that, um, we're gonna do, for if you've got an odd object, we're gonna do reverse lunges. So if you have something that you can hold stabilized over your head, then we're gonna do those with that object stabilized over. If you've got something like a sandbag or a rec bag, um, then I want you to hold that in this position for these lunges today, okay? I don't want you to um, stabilize those over your head. So what I mean by that is for these reverse lunges, I'm gonna have that stabilized over my head and I'm gonna alternate standing all the way back up just like this, all right? So notice I've got my core tight. My arms are not extended back in this position. They're in line with my ears. And I'm gonna alternate those, okay? Now, if you have equipment, then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do single arm overhead reverse lunges. You're gonna do 10 in one arm. You're gonna alternate your legs. So you're gonna hold it in one arm for 10 reps and then you're gonna switch and you're gonna do the last 10 with your, alt your other arm, okay? So for these, we wanna get this in a nice locked out position overhead. All right, just like we did with that odd object. And then I'm gonna step back and alternate these for 10 reps. After 10, I'm gonna switch to my other arm, and I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? And then you're gonna go back in to those 40 over, over and back hops over that odd object or 40 double unders, all right? So guys, remember that this is for 15 minutes. So today we don't wanna come out hot and then end up slowing it down um, later on in the workout. We wanna make sure that we find a good pace at the beginning that pushes us, but also allows us to keep moving for all 15 minutes. All right, um, I think that's all the movements we've got today. So like I said, be on the lookout for uh, the t-shirt order that we'll send out as soon as we hear back from the printer. And then also look for an email for the Memorial Day workout. All right guys, hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.